welcome to Oracle Insight everyone. Thanks for being here with me today and I trust that everyone is doing very well. So we are dealing with our usual pick a card reading for a yes or no answer to a question that you have. So this is where you bring that question to mind. You do have three options in front of you, one, two and three. Take your time and connect with which of these options you're drawn to the most. Once you have made your choice, the timestamps are in the description. Go straight through to your timestamp and I shall be there to start your reading. Hello and welcome to group number one. So you have selected these cards. We are going to turn these over to give us the themes that might be involved with your situation. I'm also going to then turn over these tarot cards which will give us the yes or no answer to your question. So you've got the Temperance, the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Wands. So all of these cards are indicating a yes as the answer to your question, group number one. Now I'm also going to go ahead and turn over these Lenormand cards to give us more details about what we may be dealing with. And then we've got some clarifying tarot cards, which I will also turn over. So you've got Knight of Wands there and Ten of Cups. Okay, right. Lastly, we've got a Queen of the Moon Oracle card, and we shall leave that to the end and see what that might have to reveal for us. There's a sense of healing in this spread, group number one, especially I'm drawn to the temperance here. Uh, and then with the Aries I am and the moon and soul, Aries I am is finding, connecting to that identity of who you are. And with the moon and soul, I get the feeling that you're going through this time of emergence where you're connecting the heart, the soul, the mind. You're aligning yourself with a stronger present you. It's like you're showing up differently now. Because I can see with the Ace of Swords, this is talking about a truth and the Queen of Wands. I'm sensing that that's you. This is you coming into your own sense of power, understanding of your own power, being in a position, or working towards a position where um, you're not afraid to go for what you want, speak what you're uh, thinking, wanting to express and being clear about your directive in life and pursuing that. Because I'm drawn to the fact that she's looking this way to the future and you've got the Ten of Cups here too. So you're after the happy home, you're after the happy fulfillment in life and two of us are not, so wonderful. And with the Knight of Wands here, there is some movement, there's some kind of inspirational burst of energy that's come through that's influencing your direction for some this could be a person now with the garden the dog and the ring now with the ten of cups here it is a potential for a romance a love connection but with the dog there that does tend to suggest it's more about harmonious connections with others and more of a platonic way. With the garden, there could be some kind of gathering that you are going to attend. And with the ring, it could be that there's some kind of connection that takes you forward with a potential offer. Whether that's to do with that could be to do with something that influences your career or work moving forward. But more so, I am seeing this as a more heart-centered reading. And so this could be some kind of connection, friendship that proves very beneficial for you in whatever it is that you are wanting to find some assistance with as you go forward on your path. That's lovely. And it even, for some of you, it could be that the Knight of Wands is this person who you connect with, who you may even meet at this gathering that takes you forward, that has some kind of offer to present to you, that supports you in your healing, in your movement forward, in some way that is going to lead you to this all-round happiness here. So that is a very, very positive potential outcome there group number one and you do have a lot of fire with the knight and the queen of wands as well as the aries i am the moon soul and the temperance is kind of offering 
that emotional input so it's not so brash and overpowering it's more a balance of of those energies so like with the temperance there's a an alchemizing of those energies to support a truth in where you're going so that is really fabulous all right so and even with the dog coming under the ace of swords there this could be a presenting with this ring there could be a presenting of a truth that you needed to hear or some yeah there's some kind of offering of information that is supporting you in your in your movement towards this ten of cups energy lovely all right then so lastly we are going to turn over this queen of the moon oracle card because we are coming up to a new moon so this i thought this would be very relevant with the energies and it says waning crescent oops can you see that waning crescent and surrender i'm loving that can you see that downpour of light there with the surrender okay i'm feeling that surrendering and acceptance there's some kind of need or encouragement for an acceptance of something surrendering to a process and something and like i said with the temperance there there does seem to be a healing theme through this spread here be open to whatever might be on offer here with this potential gathering meeting up with somebody who is either a current friend or who will be a friend and there's some kind of presentation of news of truth of something that's going to move you more towards this ten of cups energy so that is a positive thing all right then so group number one those are the messages that have come through for you today i do hope that that has served you in some way if so please consider liking sharing and subscribing take care and i shall connect with you again very soon hello and welcome to those of you who selected group number two so we are going to turn these cards over to give us an indication of some themes that may be in play for you now you've got eight house endings and beginnings and leo i will so next up we shall turn over these tarot cards to give us the answer to your yes or no question here and all of these cards are indicating a yes to me you've got ace of cups queen of swords and king of cups very strong energies nice Right, so that's a yes group number two. And then we have got some Lenormand cards, so we shall turn these over. This will give us more details involved here. And also some clarifying tarot cards. You've got Knight of Cups and Two of Cups. Wow, lots of cups here. And then lastly, we've got Queen of the Moon Oracle card that we shall just leave till the end. Okay, so group number two, we are looking at some kind of new beginning here, potentially a reckoning of truth. I am drawn into the fact that the letter here, news, is landing right beneath this Queen of Swords, which is a claiming of a truth, a recognizing of information that you can't deny. With the eighth house of endings and beginnings that can be to do with finances and it can be to do with uh, given that the ace of cups is here there could be some dealings with the endings and beginnings with a relationship also i'm looking at that as a potential even though relationship is normally seventh house but i'm doing getting a sense here given the court cards are showing up and with the two of cups and the ace of cups we're talking to some kind of an emotional renewal potentially to do with relationship with the two of cups here which i see with the leo i will this is about connecting with your inner child it's being truer to whatever it is that lights you up that activates your heart that allows you to show up in your light and so the Knight of Cups could, along with the Ace of Cups, that really speaks to me about some kind of offering of renewal, whether that's coming from the Divine. And the Knight of Cups can potentially be somebody else that's come into the picture that might be offering you a new beginning in love. 
that's also possible here. I see that the birch rod, which is a card of conflict and disruption. So it could be that whatever truth that comes to light here with this letter, this message, then it could actually lead to some kind of disruption here, which then connects with the eighth house endings and beginnings here, group number two. But I love that the anchor is here. The anchor is about stability. It's about um, finding your place, being secure. This connected to this truth of the Queen of Swords and this emotional um, intelligence that is reflected here with the King of Cups. You're in good stead regardless. But the key to dealing with this disruptive energy here with this birch wood is this emotional intelligence, having that center, um, not allowing yourself to be swayed by the external happenings, finding that inner calm is going to be very important in dealing with whatever issue might be revealed here with the birch rod and the disruptions that you're experiencing and whether it does come from some kind of message that you receive, okay? But with all the cups on the table, it does point to me to be something more emotional um, and heart-centered as opposed to something financial that you might find normally within the eighth house. For some of you, this could point to a love relationship given the feminine and the masculine on the table there, but not necessarily. This could still be a friendship. But there's a lot of heart involved in this. So just looking at the Leo there. So yeah, the friendship is a possibility, but looking at it, it does seem like more of a romantic feel within these cards, group number two. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and turn over this Queen of the Moon Oracle deck and what does this say? It says hot moon and extremes. All right, so then that's kind of a extreme clarifier there this is very much to do with a love relationship then I believe and so um, the key to going through or dealing with the extremes here any disruptions that might come on board with a truth that is revealed um, it's about accepting a truth it's about holding your center in that with the king of cups staying present staying calm being aware that if there are any endings to be had in this situation there are new beginnings on offer too because with an ending a new beginning is on offer and i love the fact that the knight of cups is coming here with and that could potentially be somebody who is coming in offering you a new beginning and if that isn't relevant for you, oh, especially because of the Two of Cups here as well. Two of Cups is, is speaking to a potential love connection. But if that isn't you, then this is a new beginning of um, finding that I will within yourself and connecting with your heart, shining strongly as you in the world, regardless of whether you is connected to another. All right. Okay, then. So those are the messages that have come through for you today, group number two. If you have found this helpful, then please consider liking, sharing and subscribing. Take care and I shall connect with you again very soon. Hello and welcome to those of you who selected the third group. We are going to go ahead and turn these Black Moon Astrology cards over and that's going to give us a particular theme for this reading. Now also you've got Tenth House the World and Black Moon Lilith and a mystery. So let's turn over these tarot cards to give us the yes or no answer to your question. Okay. So you have the Emperor, Ace of Cups and Page of Wands. So that is a yes, group number three. So next up, let's turn over these Lenormand cards. And this is going to give us some extra information that might be helpful in this. You've got the cross, Crossroad and Ship. Then Clarifying Tarot Cards, Justice and six of cups we also have the queen of the moon oracle card here but we'll leave that to the end 
Group number three. So I'm getting a real sense of rebelliousness here with the Black Moon, Lilith and Mystery with the Tenth House and the World. That typically deals with how you show up, how you're seen in the world, your career, something that others are identifying with you in terms of what you create in the outside world. And it looks like you might be at a crossroads. There could be something that you are dealing with decision making right now which could take you in a particular direction I love that the ship is here that does speak to some kind of movement and it could potentially be travel as well with the page of wands this could be a new beginning and something that you are inspired to learn more about there could be some kind of message even that is presented to you which creates a question in your mind about where it is that or how it is that you want to leave your mark on the world now because with justice here we're talking about a sense of a rebalancing of something Maybe previously you have had a career that has fulfilled certain aspects of what it is that you want and now you're moving towards something that is a little more daring with this Black Moon Lilith but it is more in line with um, your sense of you I suppose because with this six of cups I'm thinking about childhood how you would have been how you would have seen yourself in childhood you might be taking up something that you had connected with when you were much younger and now you're finding you're at a stage where you are being called to go in that direction towards whatever it is that is coming out from the depths of you now with this black moon Lilith oh that's fascinating that's exciting too because whatever it is that you may have done previously it may have ticked the boxes with certain requirements um, obligations responsibilities with this cross here but it wasn't fulfilling you like the ace of cups is now offering some kind of emotional satisfaction creative fulfillment and you're leaving this sense of the first word that came to mind was stability but maybe it's more about a structured approach something that you've been very familiar with from very young moving through your career through your work environments I think for most of you this is more about how you are showing up in your outer environment so it could be that you have had a very stable steady secure role in your work environment till now um, you found it to be quite burdensome with this cross here and you're now at a crossroads you're wanting to move on and this ship is providing the energy and the confirmation that you will indeed be moving on group number three and it's going to be providing you with a renewed sense of childlike fun creativity even but look at all that look at all that growth with the flowers there and just that abundance of life and life force and happiness and carefree there's certainly a sense of childlike appreciation of what it is that they are engaging in right now and I think that's where you're wanting to head towards and the justice like I said is offering the sense of balance it's a rebalancing of the scales now you've been very much in one way and now you're indeed moving towards another it's that time for your group number three wow okay let's see what this queen of the moon oracle card is showing and look at that it says waxing crescent and growth and it's a number five so there's change in the number five also but um, you are in a stage and a period of growth group number three and it's taking you from where you have been what you've been used to something steady predictable into something that is much more creative potentially something that you've kept hidden for a long time so congratulations to you group number three in rediscovering something that is lighting you up again giving you that childlike enthusiasm in life now so all the best as you move towards that so those are your messages group number three i hope that has provided you with some value if you have found that so then please consider liking sharing and subscribing take care and i shall connect with you again very soon